guys, so it is Tuesday morning. It is 7.50 a.m. I'm here to drop Ewok. He's getting pretty anxious right now. He's gonna get a bandage change. Also, today is a long day of everything that was not planned for me. I, was, I have a lot of filming to do. I have a, a project that I need to literally film today, but I'm not gonna be able to do it, so it's kind of stressing me out. So I have to work on it all day tomorrow, but Ewok has his appointment for bandage change, but I'll tell you guys later, actually, now that I think about it. I'll just explain it, because it's gonna take a while and I want him to go in on time. I have a feeling he's trying to find a weird spot. He likes to find weird spots. There. Oh, you wanna go poo poo there? No! <laughs> See, if you would've waited, you could've gone right there. But instead, you wanted to go poo poo behind the truck. <laughs> like, the gardener over there is looking at me like, what are you doing? Like, what are you holding? He's li literally looked at me like I was crazy right now vlogging there he goes lots of pee pee because you're gonna be here for a while round two let's show everybody your new haircut everybody's gonna see your new haircut come on you walk come on Ewok, you keep leaving too many presents. When everything's all done, and we'll go from there, okay? Ewok. Alright, all right, bye. Do you have any questions, okay? Okay, thank you. Come on. <laughs> bye, Ewok. Alright guys, I'm at my mom's house now and you're probably wondering why and it's because Nani, she got, let's see, let's see your booty, come here. I guess Nani has some little wounds around her booty because she got attacked by a raccoon. Yes, I was doing the trash and it was like 8.30 p.m. It was quite dark and we were almost at the trash cans when this big, big raccoon, so, so tall and so fat, approaches both of us, scare the wits out of both of us, but Nani is very tiny, very feisty, and I didn't even notice that he was hurt until the following day. And so Nani was trying to protect my mom. Yeah, and protect herself too, actually both of us. It was very, very scary. So I was screaming and yelling and literally crying out loud. And I have one of my neighbors who approached me, quite older, older than me actually. So I told him not to, to walk at night time anymore. And that was the end of it. And the following morning I noticed that Nani really got hurt. One, like, I don't know if it's his paws or his teeth. Nani has an appointment at 10 o'clock. I just dropped off Ewok at 8. And then afterwards, I have to come. We have to drop. I have to drop Nani off at ten. Go to that appointment, and then I have to go and pick up Ewok, which I'm not sure when he's going to be done. So it's going to be a whole loop at the vet all day for me. A hectic morning. Yeah. So I got a package from Milani, and I'm actually really surprised that they even sent me anything. Because honestly, I know they got pissed off when I didn't like their foiled eyeshadows, and I made a whole video saying it was a womp. But I guess they're not mad anymore, who knows? Who is this? Who's Danielle? XO Danielle. Um, beat the, bless you. Beat the summer heat with lips and eyes at last. Summer heat, ooh, stay put matte 17 wear liquid liner. That I'm interested in. Let's see. Let's see what's inside of this. So it comes with, oh, they're liquid matte lipsticks, which I love, and I only could get like two of them. Let's see. They came out with a bunch of other colors. This is actually a really nice formula too. You know what, you guys? I'm not really into the metallic lip. I don't know. It's just not my forte. So, some of these colors I might try. Hmm. Maybe I'll do a lip swatch video. And then here's the Stay Put Liner. This one is in Safari. It's a green. This one is in coffee matte, a brown. This one's in a black. 
And this one's in Midnight Matte. This is another, wait, oh, a blue. The first one was green, I was thinking blue. 17 hour wear, bold matte finish, humidity and sweat resistant. Come here, Lee. Oh, Lee, it's so mean. All right, guys, it's Nani's turn. Let's see if she can smell where Ewok went pee pee and poo poo. <laughs> The shaking has begun. Uh -huh. It's okay, Nani. Got her temperature checked in her booty. Grandma loves me so much. Yeah, because Grandma gave me little pieces. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Grandma loves me so, so, so much. Yeah. Do I can, you guys, you guys hear the dog barking? That's Ewok. I can tell. I think because he hears my voice. That's him, that's him, that's him, that's him. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he hears me. I'm crying. So Nani has about four bites from the raccoon. So they're gonna clip the area and clean it and infect it because it is swollen and they're gonna give her antibiotics. Mm -hmm. Had a really sweet subscriber give this to me this sephora bag and look what's inside it has pineapples on the inside isn't that so sweet and i use this all the time just doing a little bit of makeup because i looked like death and i just filled in my eyebrows really natural the l'oreal brow stylus in brunette mars just to kind of conceal a little there's like shadows here it's not like the best light but look if you look okay this is not helping because well anyhow I'm just using the NARS Creamy Concealer, sorry. Uh, I really like it because it blends into the skin really nicely. I find that, see it's looking like I didn't put enough, but see I don't wanna like pile it on. But what's really great about this concealer is that it just blends into the skin really nicely. I feel like lots of people had issues with it. It's just shadows right now because I don't wanna put any more. Now I need to even it out. It's making it look worse. I didn't really get the best sleep last night at all. Me and Glenn need to get a new mattress because I think it's messing me up. And plus Glenn's been snoring like galore. I literally shove my fingers up his nose and he would not wake up or move or anything. I know that sounds probably like mean, but it's like I have to like push him. He says, push me or else he's like a dead heavy sleeper. But what's great about this concealer is that it blends into the skin. I know it's not looking nice right now, but trust me in person it is. With this creasing when you don't set it because you're putting too much because it is a thick, thicker consistency but if you just really work it into the skin it blends in beautifully you can use the it cosmetics uh, celebration foundation illumination just, um, just to kind of just set my face a little for right yeah i brought blushed copper from becca oh, i don't want to drop that because these little shits will freaking crack so it's like a really i know kind of insane color it seems like it's insane but it, it, it's really nice it gives you just like this really nice flush and i love that there's like already a glow to it the afternoon glow from bobby brown it's really beautiful really nice color just gonna add a little bit of little pop of hello wake up on this out because you like that lip from within glow see obviously you can make it intensify it more your girl needs some lashes i hope i brought some mascara i'm pretty sure yeah maybelline uh push-up drama from the falsies one of my favorites it's really good i highly recommend it i don't know it just separates my lashes and just makes them really nice and long and voluminous and i have no lashes so when something's going to give more life to them I'm just like, hallelujah. Speaking of hallelujah, mom, did you know that there's gonna be a Medea movie coming out, Medea Halloween? No, I didn't know. October 22nd, we have to go see it. It looks so funny. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, my mom is obsessed with all of the Medea movies, huh, mom? Mm -hmm. Like all of them. You have the DVDs, huh? Mm -hmm. 
She has all the DVDs, Medea Holiday, Medea Christmas, all of those she has. It's so funny. Those are her favorite movies. But yeah, they're gonna come out with the with a Halloween one. It's so it looks so funny. There's actually a couple YouTubers in it too. Because they make you laugh. They make you laugh. See, it separates and makes them as long as they can get. Mom, huh? what are you heating up? Oh, got my mom a breakfast sandwich and hash browns earlier. I'm surprised I didn't get diarrhea. I had a breakfast sandwich from McDonald's and a hash brown. Usually I can't eat that because it makes me sick, but they didn't get me sick. Oh no, I mean, I didn't get sick, but I did go to the restroom. <laughs> DMI. And one of my favorite drugstore lipsticks is the Rimmel London 730 Nude in the City. Oh my gosh, it's so moisturizing. And I love the way, oh my god, my lips needed that. Love it. See, at least I have a little bit more life to me. How do I feel my stomach? It's because I started my period and my mom knows. Let's see how you feel in your stomach. How are your cramps? Yeah, they're fine. Okay. I'll be hemorrhaging later. Huh? Why are you whispering? So they don't hear you in the day. Oh, they can still hear you. Oh. <laughs> Earlier my mom, well right now my mom just says, who are you talking to? Who am I talking to, mom? To everybody. Who's everybody? All your followers, no? <laughs> <laughs> to the YouTube. Yeah. Gonna do some editing. No so long ago. And what card am I recording on? This is... Hold on. Poor Johnny. You generous. See? Only one. Um, you're only supposed to go to the 10 pounds, mm -hmm. but what you do is when you bring it up, you mm -hmm. want to make sure you get all the air bubbles out. Mm -hmm. so it's so crazy. Yesterday we went to go visit, we went to go visit Glenn's grandma, um, send prayers out to her because she's not doing too good. But it was so crazy when we went there to go visit her yesterday, she's exactly in this, mom, I forgot to tell you, she's in the same exact room. Well, I don't want to say she's in the same exact room. Well, it's not like you guys will find out though But you know just for like, you know security purposes and all the privacy, but same exact room Same exact assisted living where I did my ever very first nurse and clinical ever Isn't that so weird? Oh. Same exact room. I was like It was crazy. I was like freaking out yesterday All right. Well, you guys I got you walk back and we got great news. First time he did not have to be sedated for his new splint. So he's doing good right now. He just ended up barking oh, so much at another dog. I don't know why. It was a little bit embarrassing because I just want him to have friends. But he's totally like hashtag no new friends, huh? I know. I know. So I'm going to get home home. So then you can eat, huh? Yeah, you did good though. He didn't have to get sedated. He let the doctor change his splint. He just showed teeth a couple times and that was it. So we are making dinner. We're gonna make that curry. I know I showed you guys that haul that I did at Mitsua. We have made some batter. This is just flour and then said just mix it with water. I got these breadcrumbs. Glenn just is pounding chicken. And then we cut up a bunch of veggies. Mushrooms, celery, potato, onions, and carrots. You are me. <laughs> really happy because I finished editing my video that I needed to be done and I also finished a vlog up I actually finished up two. I just put one up and I have another one ready to go and I'm just trying to get my stuff organized because today I was all over the vet and all that so that kind of ruined my day of filming uh, what else uh, and I'm hemorrhaging <laughs> all right guys Veggies are looking good. Ooh, but that steam though. So this is what it looks like, golden curry. And then you just separate them like a chocolate bar and toss them in. So you just toss them in. And the recipe called for like six, six cups of water. So, ooh, there it goes. Our curry in the making. There's Ewok. <laughs> What was that? Duck. A duck. <laughs> Me.
It smells really good. It smells like Coco Ichibanyan. We pounded the cutlets, so right now I just put flour on them, and it says to kind of coat them with flour and water mixture so it's thick, and then put the panko crumbs. So I'm gonna try one cutlet and see how it goes, and then I have my pan ready to fry. Wish me luck, hopefully it turns out okay. We vacuumed our carpets tonight because it was way overdue, and the fur babies didn't want to stay in here because they don't like it when we put the carpet deodorizer and all that. It's like. They don't like the smell in the beginning, but look who's just chilling watching TV. Look how cute. He's like, aw. <laughs> you were just, he was just watching TV. Oh, you see the girl in her bunty? Yeah. None of that for you. Okay, you guys, success. We cut open in to make sure that the chicken was cooked all the way, and it definitely is. Yay! Whoop, whoop. Chicken katsu. And then this thickens so well. It smells so good. And if you guys have ever ate at like a curry house, it tastes just like it. We test tasted it. So I can show you which ones we used. I bought the medium hot and then also the mild. And I just mix the two just so it can kind of give it like a little kick. It's not really spicy. So if you're someone that wants a little bit more kick, I would just go with the medium hot because I don't really think it's spicy at all. You can always add sriracha or whatever at the end or whatever chili you wanted. But this tastes really good. So golden curry. That's what I got. We have our chicken cutlet and curry. So I'm put it all over his. And we are ready to eat. So we will see you guys in the next vlog. Woohoo! Lynn is half naked, that's why he's not. Yeah, he didn't want to be in the clip. All right, bye. Whoop. Super rich. The high oil content can turn the meat rancid fairly quickly.